like we know there's no loot boxes uh mm -hmm. paid loot boxes in halo infinite uh, from a recent leak from Cloberl, who has been right in the past several times i really trust what he says uh, he recently, he was actually the one that talked about the grapple hook before the gameplay was shown a few days before the gameplay was shown and um he said that it's going to be a season pass model for halo infinite which i believe i mean we got season passes right now in mcc i think the only difference is we're going to actually be paying for them since it's a free-to-play uh, multiplayer experience so maybe if you buy the full package you get maybe the first season free or you get some sort of dlc for free uh included with it to different differentiate from the people who are just going straight into the free-to-play model so um, mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see how they reward the players who are actually buying the full package um, i think that's necessary that you should do that i also think it's absolutely necessary that you borrow from games like fortnite and warzone where you could earn once you buy one season pass you can earn your next one for free by progressing through that season pass like getting some sort of currency to be able to unlock the next season uh, without having to spend another ten dollars or mm -hmm. whatever each season is going to cost i think that is absolutely key to uh infinite success you cannot charge people ten dollars every single season and not give them a way to earn that so um you know that's yeah. that's obviously something that they should take from those games yeah i think that's i think a, a big shift that we've really seen especially with uh fortnite's monetization model but also just in general that it seems like now that game companies are kind of starting to value players time more than anything else because as long as they're yeah. on your platform playing your game they'll spend their money on your platform eventually you know like they've always mentioned like especially with like destiny about like continuing the hobby making you keep coming back and wanting to play the game and stuff like that so i think uh game companies especially publishers are now starting to realize the value in people actually you playing your content using your content consistently rather than just being like one and done which is like the classic model that we've seen with like game releases and dlcs uh, mm -hmm. you know that's because you know if you keep them in that in that environment they're gonna eventually buy microtransactions like i'm gonna be honest i definitely see myself paying some microtransactions when infinite comes out like if something's pretty cool and i think it's gonna be worth it i think i might just jump on and do it i never did it with halo 5 because i just always thought like the loot box system was a scam because i because i think because I, I always just thought like okay so if, if i spent 60 dollars on loot boxes would i get as much content from the loot boxes as I would from the game that I bought. And that answer right. was a hard no when it came to Halo 5. Right. Now I know that, um, I think, uh, I know that Modern Warfare has gotten a lot of praise when it comes to its monetization model with a, the season pass, which apparently, like you said, you can earn points to unlock the next one you're saying. Yep. I, I, haven't, I haven't progressed that far in Modern Warfare to experience yeah, I've, that. I've, I've, I've bought the season pass once and I've gotten each season up to this season i stopped playing at season four so i got season two three and four with the tokens that i earned from those season passes mm -hmm. so i, I paid ten dollars for four seasons basically which i could totally see like halo copying that model i think it's a really fair yeah, model yeah yeah you know it's and plus then you know the money goes towards supporting halo so i'm like okay yeah we uh, i know like I, i'm okay with it really like it's it's a necessary evil i think at this point if anyone thinks that halo infinite will not have microtransactions i think you're living in the fairy tale land yeah, or, really, right. or really just any triple a game nowadays pretty much all of them have some form of microtransactions because games are expensive to make you know they take a lot of time and they're very expensive and they're slow to make or create you know and people you know the demand for content keeps rising higher and higher well they need money to support that you know and for what halo infinite's saying to do like i knew there were going to be like season pass model microtransaction stuff with infinite once they were announced that it was going to be like a game as a service or a game as a platform i'm like okay yeah there's gonna be microtransactions to what degree we don't know um right. i have a feeling to be rather fair just because i think microsoft realizes that halo is kind of coming from an underdog kind of status within the gaming genre as a whole and they're trying to rebuild the experience of what it is to play halo to bring it back to not necessarily the glory of halo 3 most popular game omg days but like you know a game where you're like you play you go from oh you're a halo player cool dude from like from like a what is kind of like oh you play halo is didn't that game die out like 10 years ago you know right. <laughs> trying to untarnish the reputation exactly of halo. 
you know so yeah and yeah, they and, definitely have to hit certain things completely right and microtransactions is huge and uh, microsoft is making a big right. has been making big shifts especially in the gaming side of things mm-hmm. with phil spencer ever since he's really taken charge to uh be Very more consumer friendly right. yeah especially yeah. with game pass and stuff like that like yeah, so yeah it's a subscription model that everyone has their own subscription models but there's a lot of value i think with game pass that you yeah. get from uh, compared to ubisoft's compared to ea's uh, oh, you know, yeah. subscription fees that like Game Pass is kind of the one to go with. In my that opinion. and everything. Uh, yeah, Game, pa- Game Pass is the best deal in gaming, hands down. Hmm. Uh, and then on top of that, you have things like the Series X uh, providing backwards compatibility for your whole library of games from your Xbox. Software uh, and hardware Xbox backwards has- compatible. Yep. <laughs> yep. Your accessories will all work for the Series X. On top of that, Xbox kind of was uh trailblazing the way for the crossplay initiative uh them and nintendo kind of got friendly with each other when sony was like yeah no we don't want to do that <laughs> and it's really forced the sony's hand to actually change their ways so it, it's good for everybody but yeah un- like you said under phil spencer and then we might even have xbox live being dropped completely especially with the free-to-play halo announcement they if they're not going to drop xbox live yet they need to absolutely drop the Xbox Live Gold requirement for free-to-play games because as of right now, you still need a gold subscription to play free-to-play games. And that is one thing Sony does with their PlayStation uh, Plus stuff. You don't have to have PlayStation Plus to play Fortnite, to play Warzone, to play Apex, uh, anything free-to-play. So if they're going to do anything, they at least need to do that. But me and you talked about it last week on last week's podcast. We fully expect uh, from the recent happenings that we expect them to drop xbox live gold completely uh and go more like the pc side of things where it's free to play online which is another amazing consumer friendly thing consoles finally catching up <laughs> yeah finally. oh yeah but yeah because until then like i when I, mean, I switched from console to pc gaming back in like 2012 i was like my mind was just bummed like oh my god things are so much better on the side the grass is so much greener and then i went back right. to console because like well it's halo though so i need to go back to the console but now halo's on pc now so yeah yeah especially it was like now that you know with each generation i feel like it's been leveling out more and more between the advantages and disadvantages between the platforms uh, so yeah, this this generation is really setting itself up to be the most like con- probably c- most consumer friendly um, pl- se- since um, probably since the 360 days. Yeah, the yeah, last I think last generation is going to be marred by microtransactions and corporate greed. Where I think this one's going to be like it's starting off on a real good foot of just like incorporation and, and consumer friendly and just making it easier to access this awesome content of all these awesome games with lower barriers of entry and mm-hmm. uh not monetizing gameplay <laughs> yeah, yeah. so yeah but yeah that's pretty awesome this was a clip from our recent episode of the halo outreach podcast a podcast that patman gaming and i host that keeps you updated with everything going on with halo we do this podcast on a weekly basis as kind of a roundup kind of experience of what we're talking about with the halo news and information that happens throughout the week in this clip we talked about microtransactions and how the leaked information of a battle pass slash season pass happening with halo infinite seems to make sense as we currently are experiencing that right now with the MCC, but that one is free. Though with Halo Infinite's multiplayer being free to play, there's gonna have to be some way to monetize that, and it generally seems like the fair way to do that is with a Battle Pass system. Now exactly how Microsoft and A343 will go about implementing that, it's up to them really how they fair they want to be to the consumer i'm guessing it's gonna be rather fair but we'll see what happens if you want to catch the full episode link on the youtube channel here or you can check us out on podbean and spotify where we are live there as well if you want to catch the podcast live that we stream on twitch follow us on twitch link in the description down below as well so thank you so much for watching i'll catch you all in the next one peace out